Alright, you ladies, my name is Shaxupkain, and welcome to Fran Bo. I've heard a lot of really great things about this game, and a lot of people in the comments have been really suggesting it. It's a game like, remember Never Ending Nightmares when I played that? It's a game in the same style, that it's a 2D thing and you control a character going like left to right and all around the environment and everything. It's supposed to be a horror game, I think? I'm not too sure. I actually don't know a lot about it, but Franny's eyes, well that is if that's Fran Bo. Her eyes follow the, the mouse, uh, yeah, it's like one of those paintings, and there's a cutie little kitty cat. Um, but yeah, I've heard some really good things about it, so I'm looking forward to playing it. I don't know how much of the game I'm gonna play, I don't know if it's gonna be a, a full series or anything, but I'm really interested in it. Continue. I didn't even start the game yet, I literally just launched it. Okay, new game. This game uses an autosave feature. Got it. Perfect. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. Wait, is that you talking? Because this is the wrong voice for you. I see my parents. They look happy. Why do I have a feeling this is going to change dramatically? They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a cat! So sweet and pretty! Ah, Dark as the deepest night! And then it just claws her fucking eyes out. <laughs> it's Mr. Midnight! Cat does not look happy. My best friend. My only friend. I'm lonely. <laughs> Hello! We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. I'm all alone with the cat. Oh no. It's the aunt. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. There's another reason I wanted to do it because I love doing voices. We are having so much fun. The cat's going to fucking town on that milk. <laughs> it's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. No! Oh! Hi! A, a, a strange creature outside my window! I don't like it. It scares me. Fucking run! It looks like the Lamia. Suddenly, I hear something. Go to fuck to sleep! It's mom! Screaming! I want to know what's wrong! A bright light shines from my parents' room. Yeah, by all means, go check it out! I go closer. Don't die, Fran! And closer. Oh, jeez. Mom? Dad? Please don't- Why are you crying blood? Oh, Jesus Christ! Mommy! Daddy! Okay! <laughs> Somebody done hacked them up into bits! What the fuck? Okay! So, this is very never-ending nightmares looking. I think this game has been in development for a very long time though. Because I remember hearing about it ages ago, people were playing the demo of it. But this is the full release now, up on Steamy Steam. Oh no, we're gonna get kidnapped! Mr. Midnight! Damn it. Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. Three! <laughs> One. Two, and you're back in the room. Aha, it was a guy's voice. Nice. So this is the art style of the game and I think it really looks cool. Fran, how do you feel? Uh, I'm fine. I get- I feel like dying. Would it be morbid as all hell, Franny? I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. True. Everybody has sadness within them. Just don't feed the beast too much. I want to find the killer. I want to go home. I want to go home. You can't go home, Fran. You have to get well. Am I messed up in the head now because of the crazy shit that I've seen? Because I'd imagine being a child seeing that kind of stuff would mess you up. Actually, being an adult and seeing that stuff would mess you up. I have to get out of here. I need my cat. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. But now, I have something for you, Fran! A 
Oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for you. Is my dick in a box? Actually, that's not nice. She's only a little girl. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Okay. Now I are, I are in control. Can I, like, mess with shit? I'm gonna mess with all the things. I didn't click on that. This was my mother's purse. What's inside? Open it. There is something inside. It's a letter. Oh, use. I can't use this. Maybe I should examine. Fine. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remember that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. I also know that you like to explain game mechanics out loud in a letter. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. I'm gonna forget all these voices. She is worried about you! I'm worried too because I'm not crazy and still here. Stop it! You're out of control, young lady! She, she seems per per perfectly fine to me! So I'm so tired of all this shit! I just wanna go the fuck back to my room, doctor! <laughs> Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it's time for your new medicine. I don't want to try no more medicine. It's called duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. It will make you get high as all balls. Nurse, we're ready. Hi there. Anything new today, Dr. Dean? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. <laughs> here, Fran, take your medicine. Club, club, down the hatch. Oh, I have to click on it. Ooh. Thought you said you didn't want to take it. You took that very willingly. I don't feel good. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no, take her back to her room. A nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Jesus Christ! I really did trip balls! This is cool, I like this. <laughs> oh god. Do I have to keep taking pills to go into the demon world? Beware, Franbo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. You're not a nice person. Mr. Midnight! Fran, wake up! <laughs> the medicine will help you escape! I imagine that Mr. Midnight just yells at everything. I'll be waiting for you in the forest! I don't know why everyone's British. I love you. Go, Franny! Go! Find Mr. Midnight! This is fun! I like this. Chapter 1, My Sober Day. And I like games like this where I get to add my own voices. It, it brings a big, wholesome element to it all. I love it. That is a very nice picture. <laughs> Can I move? I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. I can't remember. The last time I had, like, a lot of fun making voices for games was when I played Mad Father. I turned, like, the father into Solid Snake, and I can't remember the voice I did for the girl. It's something similar to this. My voice has changed a lot since then. Case blah blah blah. Fran Bo De Dagenhart. Fran Bo Dagenhart. What a badass name. I'm age 10 and I'm a female. History. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Don't you think you should give me, stop giving me them? I will get your nose. I will get it. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. I will. Okay. I thought you were going to get his nose. Can we look out the window? Oh, holy moly! Something fell. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Okay. So that's going to come in handy. Let's check out this little dude. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Um, there's a cross on the wall. 
Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. You stop freaking out, Fran. You're fine. You'll sleep like a girl. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. Hate the monster. Oh, I hate the monster. That's the- it's like the Lamia demon. Um, I can't remember what movie that was. I think it's Drag Me to Hell. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Why did you cross off show and put in show again? I don't know, friend. I could still walk around it and see what's on the other side. I like how there's septic eyes on the sides as well. Oh. Oh, good evening, missy. <laughs> what's going on? Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Good God, I was unconscious. I was, I was in a coma. Oh no, so many days. I should find Kitty. Your cat is probably dead, girl. Now leave. I'm working. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See? You are nothing but trouble. What is it? I broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft. Accidentally? I have to fix this. Follow me. No. You go that way. I'm gonna mess around in all your shit. I'm gonna take all of your documents. I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is still inside the room. No, she's not. She's all the way over that side. She a asshole. Can't see through this window. Okay, let's go see what she's up to. Hi. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook to hold that holds the curtains up? I see nothing. I'm fucking clean. No, miss. I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go find something to fix this. You little g girl. <laughs> I can't say bad things to the little girl. She's only small. See you later. I'm gonna go fucking steal all of your crap. Go, Fran. I like your, um, your little tights. Oh, I keep these patches to stop blood. I thought that was a packet of fags. Cigarettes. Again, over here in Ireland we call cigarettes fags, so I have to keep clarifying that every single time I say it, just in case people are like, Jack, you can't say that word! Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing of the brain. Sweet. Oh god, the patient has blah fucking sleeping almost all the time. Okay, I'm not reading that. I can't read it. Ooh. Hide. I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Oh my goodness, this is terrible! Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all! I leave it as it is. Why? Take that gun and start killing some fools. What if the demon shows up again? You have to blah blah in the face. Empty bottle, empty glasses. Um, can I have the wheelchair and do some sweet wheelies in it? No, my legs are just fine. They are, look at them. Little dainty feet. Alrighty. Uh, Hello, little boy. Are you in here like me? Oh, a secret box. Shh. What? These are my things. Um, use. Uh, I don't know the code for this yet. Oh! A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. H is eight. I would be nine. D, H, I, D is three. Oh no! <laughs> A, B, C, D is four. What am I doing? And A, B, C, D, E is five. Yeah! That's not a very good mechanism. You might as well just have the code written on the box. We got some pills. <laughs> a teddy. Hello. I'm sorry if that voice is getting annoying to you, but you're going to have to deal with it. I'm not the best at making up voices. Oh, wait. What did she say? Hello again, Mr. Teddy. Hello, boy. Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. <laughs> I have to find Kitty now. Bye. 
They always say that. They are just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will, if you help me. The only, oh, the only thing I know is the office is the key. <laughs> the key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? The doctor, obviously. Him. Or maybe the demon. Can he see the demon as well? What are you doing, Phil? Jesus fuck! Phil! All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And nobody will help you escape. You're a meanie face. <laughs> Leave me alone! I hate you! Well then, back to normal. Mommy! Daddy! I need you so much right now! No! I won't let the monster stop me! Phil, you're a dick! <laughs> I used to have a blue dress like yours. And then my parents died. <laughs> okay, so Fillmore Bronstone! People in this game have the most badass names! If I was in this game, I would be Jack Lee Bennington! Actually, no, I'd be Jack Lee Septicius! Septico! Jack Lee Septico! At your service! I don't know why he made everybody in the game British. He's only eight! History! The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior, paranoia not yet diagnosed. Okay. Treatment. Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dearn. We have not achieved the patient's trust. Okay, and he refuses to be questioned. He was fine with me. Oh, wouldn't Mr. Horse. Are you having a good time? If I sit down, I will eventually get up. So what's the point? That fucking flawless logic. Can't, can't argue with that. Of course it's locked. Phil, you tell me what you know now. Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. Um. Okay. Oh, back here. Wait, this office? She was a nurse, though, not a doctor. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. Ew. Um. Oh. Eight H. What? Okay. Oh, that's just for her box thing. A B C D E F G H I. Yeah, I figured that out already. Where's the other code for the thing? Okay. Oh. I didn't check this. Wait, let me let me just check around again first. Locked. Good reason to get curious. Hmm. I need some keys. Right, so do we have anything in here? Use. A key. This will certainly open something. <gasps> Woo! So wait, will this open that? Or will it open the door? Okay, it should open this then, because there's no code on this, it's for a- it, there's a key. Of course it's locked, yeah. Use. The key is too tiny. Phil! What do I do? <laughs> Just start shaking the shit out of him. The pills, I think, might make me go into that weird world again. Okay, we'll see if the key works on this. Wait, take out the key. Use on that. Yes, yes, I got it! There's something inside! A pin and a picture. Ah! Use bow family picture with Fran. <laughs> no, with Fran's journal. Uh, okay, let's uh, examine it. Ah, Mommy, Daddy, Mr. Midnight, and Aunt Grace. Such a happy little family. Um, examine this. My hair clip. I should give it a good use. Put it in your hair, girl. Can I use it with you? Oh, maybe you can use it to, um, lockpick. Am I actually that good? It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Um, your finger? The hook. Combine with the hair clip. Ah, it won't work. Fuck. See what happens if I try to use the hook. Shape is not right. I'm getting confused. Oh, I shouldn't have taken the pills! Oh, Christ, Phil, what's wrong with you? Oh, God! 
Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. Oh, it was not me. What was the voice I gave the dude? No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Okay. Hello! Fucking hell, this game is freaky. I don't like it. There's a dead fox on my bed. There's a weird, creepy lady outside going, Hello, Clarice. How are you doing? I wonder what she has to tell me. The doctor has no soul. I'm going to home tonight. Well then. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Hi. Oh, fucking hell, you're like, she, they have my head. Are you serious with this shit? Now everything's gone all blurry. <laughs> Hi. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. <laughs> fucking weird. The drawer is empty. Oh! 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 Watch your step! Watch me everything! Hello, Miss Nurse! You are dead! Get out, creepy creature! Friend, you do not seem bothered by any of this! Friend does not give a fuck! There's dead shit everywhere! This is awesome! Can I go in the door now? There's a dead deer on the chair. It says to happiness! Hello! Oh no! Your head! Fucking hell. What the fuck is this? Maybe there's only one hole now. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Fuck. Phil is playing with his uncle, and his uncle is mad. Everything in this place is mad right now. Hello, Phil. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Where did the clown go? Good I- good question. Who did it? Who killed my family? Good question as well. You can see. I know I can. I have eyeballs and they work great. That's- that's- no. I- I don't want any more of that. No thanks. Um. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, man. Oh! I got a- a needle. Oh, a knitting needle. From the crazy world, she was using it. Okay, so can I combine these two? Uh, clickety clackety, schmickety schmackety. That's how we do it. Oh, yackety schmackety, don't hold back. Woo! Yeah! Getting it sorted out, getting it done. Oh, yes, to happiness. No! 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 <laughs> what was that? Daddy was not there. Mommy would not. <laughs> this game is fucking delightfully creepy. Should I, like, be not using pills right now? Hi! How are you doing? Why do you look like a fabric doll? Yeah, she's probably real if I stop taking the pills. Tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. Even the purest of things will die in this place. This is lovely! This is a happy fun adventure time. You're my beloved friend! Bip bip brum! Get the fuck away from me! The king likes drawings! See ha See little head? This game is awesome. I really like this. What? This wasn't here before? Okay, can I stop taking pills? Ah, back to normal. Can I just do that as much as I want? Hello! There's more clowns in here. Hello! You see them. You do, right? <laughs> I don't! Bye! <laughs> see what? The creatures that follow everyone. You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they are there. Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. 
Yes, I love it too, but please, but tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. There's a whole fucking mess of crayons on the ground beside you. I want to find my cat. Oh, we're all very sad. Draw a cat if you don't have one. I could draw my cat, but I'd rather find him. Your cat is in danger. The shadows took him, I know. Who told you that? The one that follows me. Bye. This is awesomely creepy. I love it. And I like the fact that my microphone isn't attached to my arm anymore so I can pick it up and do all the sexy voices. <coughs> See you later. <laughs> this bed is very pink. That's mine, my crayons. I just like this green crayon so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's true, but you have so many other colors. Yes, many colors, but you know they don't like me drawing. Who? The nurses, they tie me up, and when I want to draw, I can't. Yes, they tie me up sometimes too. It hurts. Fran is always so sad. She never knows what to do. When I draw, I hurt myself. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Look. Oh, Jesus. Fucking hell. Please cure me, yes? And stop the red milk. I'm gonna call blood red milk from now on. I'll see what I can do. Ah, oh, they keep going in and out of the voices as well. I can't commit to any of them. <laughs> she has a creepy face on. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. You're not finding anything. Oh, real flowers, they smell so sweet. So sweet and goody gumdrop goodness. Check the picture. Oh, this is one of those mute clowns. A, a mime? I don't know, let's go into the WC again. Into the wash closet. Why are we looking in the door? The throne is empty. I didn't realize anyone could see me pooping. Gross. <laughs> okay, um, that's enough exploring for now because I think the next thing is going to go down here. I'm going to leave this episode here. Please let me know what you guys think of this game. I think it's really cool. It could make for a really cool series. I didn't plan on making it a series or anything. I just wanted to check out the game. But I think it could be a really cool thing to do because it looks like an awesome game and it's wonderfully creepy and I love doing voices for games and everything. And it feels like one of those things that everybody could get in on and enjoy and the atmosphere is terrific and I really, really like it. But for now, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And high fives all round! Whoosh! Whoosh! Well, thank you guys, and I will see all your dudes in the next video! You want me to dig a hole to bury my dog? You're an asshole! Okay, yep. Hug initiated! Goes well with the music. Daddy did not care. Mommy was not there. Sweet dreams!